what I want to do now is I want to talk about something a little bit different. And it's something that I came across by accident the other day when I was working on Final Cut Pro X. And I'm just going to navigate back here to the start of this timeline. I'm going to select the first clip and I'm going to call up my effects browser here. And I want to talk about one of my favorite effects inside of Light, and that is Boca Random. And it's a very cool effect, and you'll see it right there. And I can take this and obviously drag it right over here and apply it to the clip. Now, the only problem is, is that it's a very cool effect, and I'm just going to come over here to the inspector. But there's really not a lot of options that I have when it comes to working with this effect. You can see that I can choose circles, I can choose hexagons, but I really have no way to get in and modify it other than what I see in here. Well, I came across actually a very cool way to get in and modify it, and it actually has to do with what we just talked about, and that is chroma key. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this effect from this clip just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to navigate over here to my generator browser. I'm going to make sure that I'm on solids and I'm just going to take this green color right here. I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it over here up onto video layer two. And we're just going to attach it right there. And we're just going to drag it all the way down to the end of the clip just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate back to the effects browser. And again, I'm going to select Boca Random. We're going to take it. I'm going to drag it right over here onto the green. Now, do you see where I'm going to go with this? Once I have it on the green, just like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate back to Keen. I'm going to come to the keyer, and we're going to take the keyer and apply it to the green. And you'll see that instantly we now have this element as a keyable element. What I can do now is simply come in here. We can change this to hexagons. I'm just going to change the blend mode. You know, maybe we'll make it something like add or something like that. You know, we can even get in, adjust the size. And the great thing is that we can now get in and double this up if we wanted to. But here's where things are going to get really interesting. We can actually get in and apply effects to this effect and create brand new looks very quickly and very easily. And let's take a look at how we're going to create a new look with this technique that we've just seen.